Lance Adams and getting the news that he's coming up from Triple A Scrant Wilkesbury Jack to make his major league debut tomorrow. His last outing, he's gotten progressively better of seven and a third innings of one run ball. Yeah, his last outing, he took a no hitter into the seventh inning. You see what he's done across his last seven. A lot of those numbers are good. The walks are not. 17 walks and 32 and a third innings. The batting average against is good. Bob, anytime you make your major league debut, the lights are going to be very hot. And I know they're playing a day game, so the lights won't be on. But <laughs> the lights are going to be especially hot on Chance Adams tomorrow at Fenway Park against the Red Sox. Your team has lost three straight games and hasn't played well in any of them, has been listless and sluggish and lethargic. And now the onus is on you to go out there and try and straighten things out. So a lot for Chance Adams to think about, but really all he has to think about is pitching to his strengths trying to get outs. I think the Yankees are looking for Chance Adams to give them five solid innings. If they have a lead after five innings, they'll try and go to their bullpen because their bullpen, despite last night's abomination, is still one of its strengths. Uh, one final thing after one hit against Porcello, the offense could do a lot to help him out. Nathan Evaldi's on the mound, a former teammate. Don't let him get traction. In his last start, he was able to get a win in his Red Sox debut. Yeah, I think you're absolutely right, Bob. I talked about Adams, but this is not a one-man show the Yankees need to show up in this series at Fenway Park we're going back to the Baltimore game at Yankee Stadium they've now been outscored 26 to 13 in their last three games they've picked a very poor time to play some of their poorest baseball of the season I mentioned the phrase self-reflection referring to Aaron Boone in the pregame and now I think that self-reflection goes for every player in that clubhouse they're seven and a half games behind the Red Sox right now they've got to try and do whatever they can to salvage the split at Fenway Park. It starts with tomorrow. Adams can do his job, but you're absolutely right. Their lineup has to try and do some damage against Ivaldi, too. All right, join us here on Yes, Saturday, BP 3 o'clock, pregame 3.30, first pitch just after 4 o'clock. Take care.